right guys, welcome back to another video. It's just gonna be a short one for today. So it's been about 4,000 miles since I last changed the oil on my car and today we're gonna be changing the oil, but I'm gonna show you how to do it with a Fumoto valve. If you don't know, a Fumoto valve is a valve that kind of acts like a faucet when you're changing your oil. So it replaces the stock drain plug for easy access and just, you know, for quick oil changes. I've seen a lot of folks asking if it's worth it and to me it is. I think I paid about $30 for it back in the day. I don't remember how long ago I got it, but yeah, so for 30 bucks, you know you have quicker oil changes and it's just so easy to use so I'm gonna show you exactly how to change the oil if you have a Fumoto valve and uh, yeah let's get going all right so I'm gonna just jump right into it we're gonna be using the fully synthetic 5w30 oil from Subaru so I've always used this oil since the car was brand new I haven't used anything else and I've had no issues with it uh, the car is tuned uh, to about 300 of the wheels 327 foot-pounds of torque through surge line tuning here in Oregon and uh, like I said, I've had no issues with this oil and I don't plan on using anything else for now. And you're gonna need six quarts of oil just because if you're changing the oil filter, the entire car takes about 5.4 quarts of oil. So just keep that in mind. And also the oil filter we'll be using is the black one. And here's the part number for it. And it should look something like this. All right, so hopefully you guys can see under here, since I do have the TBW skid plate that I recently installed, I'll link that video here too so you guys can see it. Start off by removing this oil drain plug cover. There we go. This is what it looks like installed. And if you guys see that little black piece right there, that is actually the lock mechanism for it. So it's just a plastic clip that holds the little handle down in place. And you don't even need to raise the car. You know, if you're small enough, you can get under here, get your arm under there and um, just simply turn this and the oil will begin to flow. And you can get a hose for this as well. So you can put it directly into a bottle. It's super easy to use and um, I'll show you now exactly what I'm gonna do. Once we take that off, we can access this lever here. So all we wanna do is push it back and then turn it down. And then the oil should begin to flow. All right, so while we're waiting for that to drain, we're gonna go ahead and proceed with the other steps. And when you're down to like a couple drops, I mean, to me that's okay. Actually what I do is I put in some new oil so it pushes out the old oil so this is probably a mixture of both but like I said to me it's not a big deal so I'm gonna go ahead and stop it here so closing this lever is the same as putting back your uh, oil drain plug so let's go ahead and do that and it is now closed what I like to do is just give it a quick wipe and this should be good to go yeah, it simply just goes on right there now it's locked in there so that was it so no tools required I mean aside from this cover right here if you have uh, aftermarket skid plate but yeah, it's super easy and this will also be the good time to clean out your catch cans if you have any for those with catch cans specifically this brand I'll link that video here so click right here for that I also made a video about cleaning your math which is somewhere in there and your map sensor it's a good time to take care of those things right now So we just wrapped up the oil change and it was very clean, very easy. So that is the purpose of the Fumoto valve. Hopefully I was able to demonstrate that for you guys. So like I said, just a quick video for today. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Other than that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.